like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became a prince of a town called Bel Air. <laughs> In West Philadelphia, born and raised. It's not the playground, where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, max and relaxing, all cool. Or shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys that are up to no good started making trouble in the neighborhood. Got one little fight, my mum got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I begged her pleading with the day after day, but she packed her suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss, then she gave me my ticket. I put on a walk and on and said, I might as well kick it. First class, no is bad, drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass. Is this what the people of Bella live like? Hmm, this might be alright. But wait, I hear they're pretty bourgeois and all that. Is this the type of place that they just send this cool cat? I don't think so. See you when you get there. I hope they're prepared for the Prince of Bel -Air. Well, the plane landed and when I came out, there was a dude who looked like a cop and standing there with my name out. I am trying to get arrested, yeah. I just got here. I sprang with a quickness like lightning disappear. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said fresh and it had dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say this cab was rare, but I thought, no, forget it, you're home to Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, you're home, smell you later. I looked at my kingdom, I was finally there. To sit on my throne is the Prince of Bel-Air.